Alrighty, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the final ACS showcase game of the year. Today we have <laughs> Wilmington Seaweed versus NC State Yega. We'll be commentating tonight. This is Alex Robbins. I formerly played on Yega. I just graduated. And I'm Kevin Huerta. I'm currently a junior at UNCW, but we're taking the year off because we hurt our leg. We've got Yega coming out on offense. That's a centering pass to Becky Widmeyer, a captain of this team. And they're looking to break this UNCW zone. Looks like they're going to be trying to swing it a lot and hopefully hit the middle to break up this cup in the front. But they can hit the side. That's going to be a turn for number 14, Lewis. Hannah Samuelson to pick up for UNCW. That's a big foot block from Carmen Tormey to give the disc back to Jägermanza. Becky Widmeyer to pick up. Becky finds big yards on the sideline to Lewis again, but another turn. They'll need to complete those up the sideline. Hannah Vetcher picks up for UNCW. A deep downfield hook to Hannah Samuelson. Oh, and it's completed. She surveys the field and lets up a hook to Kristen Reed, who's streaking deep. And it is completed. A goal for UNCW, Kristen Reed with the first goal of the board. And UNCW get the first break of the game. If Jägermans is going to find some success, they need to figure out a way to work the cup and make some yards up when they're looking downfield. They're going to have to be able to pull those in down the sideline if they're going to make any forward progress. They look to start out patient. Though. They, were, they were looking for it, just a matter of completing the passes. Yeah, all their looks are very solid. Anna, Anna found some great space in the middle of the field. So we'll have Yega Monster to receive the pull, and they'll start out on offense again. Hannah Samuelson set to pull. Here comes the pull from UNCW. Did you hear that foghorn? I did. That foghorn is the 20 seconds to pull. Okay. Yeah, since there's no since there's no observers, that's sort of the you know the warning to the okay. gotcha. Cage Brilovich picked up the pull. UNCW is still in that zone. Taking some good looks up the field. This uh, handler set for Yega is uh, making nice shots. Nice rundown for Allison, and she's going to look to center it back to the to Katie to continue upfield. They've made more progress this point than they have previously. They definitely are playing really patient. When they swing the disc, they get those huge upfields on the uh, on the sidelines. Threading the needle for Becky all the way up the middle for Carmen Tormey. She's looking, doesn't see a whole lot downfield. She's going to dump to Becky Widmeyer again. Oh, and that's going to be a drop. Hannah Samuelson set to pick up for UNCW. She launches a long, blady hook ooh, right into the hands of a streaking Hannah Betcher, and it just slips out. Yega's going to have to work that ground up again, but they're starting strong with a Field to Jen Bradley. Anna Solberg continuing to be a good look through the middle of the cup. 
And they're going to hit the sideline again to Jen Bradley. She's finding a lot of great space, looking up to Carmen Tormey. They're going to dump it back to that sideline, gain a few yards. UNCW with this light wind really sticking to the zone look. This O-line seems to have settled into this zone a little more. They're getting some fakes in, hitting those gaps that they can find in the cup. And Carmen Tormey again. Katie fakes off a couple upfield looks to Jen and Carmen, but they're going to stay patient and make the best decisions possible in this zone. She's hitting Anna again. He found some great space in the popping zone. And they are in the red zone now, just outside the end zone. That's going to be a goal from Becky Widmeyer to Katie Jabrilovich for the first Jaeger score of the game. Really patient offense from Jaeger there. They at no point looked like they wanted to huck the disc or uh, were looking like they were in a pinch. Really patient, just moved it from side to side and just knocked it in. On for on the field for the Yega D line, we have Alice Widman, Lisa Keller, Jen Bradley, Charity Robinette, Danielle Sawyer, Emma Bartlett, and I can't see that. We'll get our first look here at the uh, seaweed O-line and see uh, if they can march it down the field. <laughs> Not Foghorn, if you can hear it, is the 20 seconds to the pull. And that seventh player on the line for Jaeger Monster, number 54, is going to be Caroline Vandenberg. Jaeger with the pull. Hannah Samuelson fielding the pull for Seaweed. She centers to Eliza Rich. Hits a streak in Hannah Betcher for the under. Who hits Kristen Reed. Nice grab by Hannah Betcher. <laughs> Kelly Maynard's with the disc. She surveys the field and hits a dump to Lydia, Lydia Brenneman. That's Charity Ooh. Robinette with a run through D. We'll see if Yega can slow down the pace a little bit or if they're going to put it up. Danielle Sawyer puts it up to Alice running through the end zone. Is that going to be a goal? Not quite. She's going to have it on the end line. This could be a chance for the D-line to break. Alice is taking a couple steps, but she does hit Emma Bartlett for the score. That's a little bit of a role reversal. Alice is genuinely the receiver, and Emma Bartlett is generally a handler. Quick turn of events there for uh, Seaweed. Jaeger real quick to pounce on the opportunity to get their first break of the game. That'll be 20 seconds to pull. Yeah, 
See, we will look to get a quick hold here to get that D-line back out onto the field. New additions to this D-line for Jaeger are going to be Abigail Campbell and Tori Bayer. Danielle Sawyer looks, she's going to pull. Big pull from Jaeger goes up. Hannah Betcher to field it. She centers to Kristen Reed. Right back to Hannah. Hannah looking for Kristen Reed in the dump set. She clears. Tough upline caught by Claire Sorensen, who hits Hannah back in the dump set. And it just bobbles out of her hands for the turn. This will be Jaeger's second chance to break. We'll see who Anna. Emma Bartlett looks like she's about to pick up here. And we have UNCW in a person defense instead of the zone in this one. High stall count, just gets it off, but it's a Kristen Reed there. pops out of the lane for the D and sends it up to Hannah Samuelson, who's running deep. She grabs it just right outside of the end zone and is looking to score. Hannah Betcher makes an upline cut and scores for Seaweed. UNCW with the hold. Just handed me the thing. Did you reset the clock? I did. For seven time. Since, since so, there was a guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, Becky set the clock to 75 for me. So okay. I don't know. Um, also, I, I believe ultimate time should go up. Like sauna. Yeah. <laughs> if I ever had this again. <laughs> that'll be the 20 seconds horn. So on this offensive line for Yega, we have Anna Solberg, Katie Chabrilovich, Carmen Tormi, Becky Widmeyer, Melissa Gronsk. Hannah Samuelson set to pull for UNCW. <laughs> and the pull is up. A deep look for Carmen Tormey that's just overshot. Kristen Reed with the D for UNCW. The huck just flowed a little bit too far. Hannah Betcher with the disc looking downfield. Hits Eliza Rich in the dump set. Who it's Kelly Mayners on the under, but a pick is called. And it will be sent back. Lisa Women dumps it to Hannah Betcher in the dump set. She hits Hannah Samuelson on an undercut. Right back to Hannah Betcher streaking up line. 
who hits Claire Sorensen on an under. Claire looking downfield, looking to get rid of the disc. She has to throw it up. Hannah Samuelson comes down it with an odd upline. The hammer from Hannah Samuelson and is caught by Kelly Maynard. That'll be a, a break for Seaweed. 3-2. I think as long as Seaweed can keep their legs under them, it should be close to the end, as long as they don't run out of gas. Yeah, Jaeger yeah, Monster's biggest problem at this point is just going to be holding on to the disc. They're making good decisions. They're just having a hard time reeling them in. I think we're likely to see UNCW come back out in that zone again. That'll be 20 seconds to the poll. Hannah Samuelson set to pull for Seaweed. And the pool goes up. Seaweed will look to get their second straight break of the game. Paige Brilovich picks up and dishes it to Becky Widmeyer, who's looking for Carmen. There, Seaweed is still in the zone, three-person cup. Giga Monster is continuing to make those same looks for spaces in the cup and upfield hits to the sideline. <laughs> oh, Becky looks upfield for Jen Bradley who just can't quite get a hand on it. Jen Bradley's going to set up on the mark. Hannah Samuelson picking up for UNCW. Looks downfield and hits Kelly Maynard's on an under. Yegamons is going to have to look to slow down she these hits. undercuts. Kelly hit Kristen Reed on an under who dishes it to Hannah Samuelson who's looking for Lydia Brenneman who scores and that is the second straight break for Seaweed. That'll bring us to 4-2 UNCW's favor. Ega Monts is going to have to learn to or look to contain these cutters for the unders. They're uh, bleeding yards on the sideline. On the D-line for Seaweed, we have Hannah Samuelson, Kristen Reed, Shannon Sullivan, Catherine O'Leary, Hannah Betcher, got out of order on me. <laughs> and Kelly McKillicuddy. Hannah Samuelson set to pull. All right, we're gonna have Becky stop the roll and pick up the disc for a quick dish up the field to Katie Trebrilovich. She's going to look back to Becky trying to swing the disc to the sides to get around this cup. Seaweed really sticking to the zone look. Allison Church up field. She's going to get a quick dump to Bartlett. That's a nice swing back out to the sideline. Village has to look off Becky with good cup defense from UNCW. It's a nice gain yards by Becky. 
and she'll throw Emma Bartlett into the space she wants her to go into. There it is. They're going to look up field to Carmen Tormey, and she's going to try to make her best decision into the end zone. Looks like she's going to holster it and hit Becky for a short gain. But Becky Widmeyer is going to hit Tori Vayer for the next Jaeger score. Jaeger with some really patient offense there, never rushed anything, and just swung it back and forth, waiting for the right, the right time to hit the hole. They're making great decisions. We'll see if they continue to work it if UNCW will drop out of the zone into a person defense. We've got the D-line back out for Yega. We'll have from first on the line, we've got Emma Bartlett, and then Alice Woodman, Charity Robinette, Lisa Keller, Danielle Sawyer, Abigail Campbell, and Melissa Gronsk. And that'll be the 20 seconds to pull. Big point coming up here for Yega as they uh, look to get one of their break back. breaks back. <laughs> Danielle Sorry has got the pull up. The pull is up. Kristen Reed set to field it. She hits Hannah Betcher on an under, who's looking upfield, directing traffic. Hits Kristen Reed in the dump set and streaks back up line. She Hannah Betcher hits Eliza Rich on the under, who hits Kelly Mayners. Who it's Hannah Samuelson on the up line who sends it right back up the line to Hannah Betcher. Hannah Betcher pointing upfield. Hannah Samuelson with the up line cut and she just gets by and it just gets away and CB with the turn. Danielle Sawyer will be tapping this disc in at the front cone of their end zone. UNCW does look to have settled into a person defense. <laughs> Got a nice centering pass to Danielle. They're going to need some cutters downfield. And that's going to be a heartbreaking turn just outside the end zone on a bobble. See, we look to get to score on this easy opportunity right outside the end zone. Hannah Samuelson set to pick up, and they're in a vert stack. Hannah Samuelson with a nice break to hit Kristen Reed on the under, and that is a goal for Seaweed. How are we doing, boss? And that'll be 20 seconds to a pull. <laughs> Got a really nice foghorn going on over here. 
Hannah Samuelson <laughs> set the pool for seaweed. <laughs> Hannah Samuelson with the big bladey pull. <laughs> Anna Solberg is going to stop the roll. Iga setting up in a side stack with an isolation for Carmen Tormi. <laughs> Try and get some early movement to disrupt this zone. <laughs> a nice swing over to the sideline for Carmen Tormi. We're going to swing again to Katie Trebilovich. We're going to move the disc back and forth and try to get the cup to be out of position to allow for more strikes up the field. It's a nice grab by Allison, who hits Tori at the sideline. Nice, nice. Continue to Anna. She's going to set a little bit and look for a dump for Katie Trebilovich. But that was a big gain on that short sequence. Becky's going to thread the needle for Carmen Tormi. Nice, Carmen. Nice, Carmen with a great throw that's just out of reach for Ashley. Hannah Betcher set to pick up for UNC Wilmington. Carmen Tormi with a strong flick force. Hannah Betcher hits the upline to Kristen Reed who surveys the field. She hits Kelly McKillicuddy on the under and she launches it. A discussion on whether it was in or out is ensuing. It's going to be called a goal by Becky Widmeyer, and that's going to give it oops, three lead to Seaweed. That is a goal for Seaweed. The pass coming from Kelly McKillicuddy, and she hit Kelly Miners, who toes the line, just barely gets it in. With, uh, with Eastern's coming up tomorrow, Alex, it would be a crime for me not to uh, <laughs> go ahead and, and, and plug that in. Uh, make sure you guys check out the, uh, the Old Two World stream tomorrow, 3 o'clock. The UNC Wilmington men will be playing Pittsburgh uh, in what should be a really good game. Well, now we have a break, so I'll get, throw in one more plug. We have several players on this field that are uh, members of the second year of the Raleigh Radiance roster. We have a couple practice players and some rostered players, and they're going to look to start up the first ever season of the PUL, which is the Premier Ultimate League. So catch some of these ladies on the Raleigh Radiance. See, we look to get this break here for half. Would be a pretty big break for Siwi to put Yega in quite the hole coming out of half. Feel the need to like embrace it from the wind. <laughs> also, there's grass in it. <laughs> On this side. But I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Hannah Samuelson sets a pool for seaweed. Nice floaty pull from Hannah Samuelson. Becky's yeah, got the disc in the center of the field, and she looks up for Allison, who reels that one in on the sideline. Oh, another drop for Yega. It's going to give UNCW the frisbee just outside. Hannah Betcher picks up. She waves off Kelly Maners on an under and hits Kristen Reed. 
Kristen Reed hits Hannah Samuelson on an under and cuts up line. Hannah Samuelson with the dump swing to Hannah Betcher who looks up field. She hits Eliza Rich on an ace cut. Eliza looking into the end zone, wanting to score. That's a hand block for Jen Bradley. And Yegamasa will get the disc back. Becky, Ma Becky Widmeyer to pick up. Looks like we have some sort of obstruction on the field, maybe. Big hand block there from Jen Bradley. The hand block up, but also the, the uh, trap back down to the ground. We're going to swing all the way around. Becky looks up field and hits Carmen Tormey for a small gain, but Carmen continuates continuation for Lisa Keller. Allison Church is a first-year player on this team who has really uh, given the O-line handlers a lot of calm. See, we really believing in this zone and hoping that Yeager will just make a mistake or two. Ooh, Kristen Reed with a quick D underneath. CB with their second break opportunity of the point. Yeager Monster still in a person defense. They are uh, setting up forcing flick. Hannah Betcher with the disc. His Kristen Reed on an upline. Almost a bad collision there, but just barely avoided. Kristen Reed hits Hannah Betcher on an upline. And she's just right outside of the end zone. A hammer goes up from Hannah Betcher, and she hits Kelly Manners for the break. And Seaweed takes half, 7-3. to three. Oh. I need to stop. Do I stop it? Do I stop the time, or does it just go? Or who's timing? What time? The, is there a time for that? So do I stop this? Maybe, maybe I'll see if I can control, if I can switch the, um, so you say you had it at 75, right? Yeah. So, all right, so let me see if I can maybe, maybe switch. Or maybe, I can, maybe we can just leave it, I don't know. Cool. Okay. And that concludes the first half of the final ACS game between Yega and Seaweed. Seaweed with a couple of breaks early in the second half, and they were able to squeeze one break out at the end to make it 7-3. We're going to a 10-minute half. Oh. Um. 
I'm doing it. Like, you should have gotten a tattoo. I do want a tattoo. I, I don't know if you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. Ben. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Just to bring you back, we're about to start up the second half. The score is currently UNCW Seaweed 7, NC State Yega Monster 3. Seaweed said to come out, come out at half on O and look to get a quick hold. Looks like we're going to have Emma Bartlett pulling. And the pull's up. Christian Reed fields the pool for Seaweed, and it's Hannah Betcher upfield. She lets up a huck to a streaking Lydia Brenneman who catches it and immediately hits Santa Hannah Samuelson in the dump set. Hannah Samuelson uncorks a huge hammer and hits Kelly McKillicuddy for the quick hold for Seaweed, and that is 8-3.
Jägermeister just has not been prepared to defend those hammers in the end zone. Have another look at the NC State Yega Monster O line here. We've got Charity Robinette, Katie Tabrilovich, Becky Widmeyer, another Anna Samuelson with the blady pull out of bounds. Yega looks to be setting up another side stack isolation play with Carmen Tormi in the ISO space. We've got Anna Fullerberg, Charity Robinette, Vandenberg, and Church in the side stack. Katie Jabrilovich just pick up, and she dumps it quick to Becky with a swing to Carmen Tormi. Seaweed back out with this zone that has been working for them pretty well throughout the game. It's a nice look to Anna Solberg in the space. They're going to need to work on gaining a few more yards on these quick upfield sets. Another dump to Allison Church. Allison Church fakes hard, but looks to Becky in the dump set. But Carmen reels it in just barely and looks to dish it up the field to Katie Brilovich on the sideline. Katie dishes back to Carmen Tormi. Carmen with a quick dump to Katie Trebrilovich. He resets it back to Carmen again and hit Becky, and Becky's going to look up field. Takes off on the over. Yega needs a little bit more movement in this set if they're going to work the disc effectively. Seaweed really moving well as a cuff and keeping these uh, Yega handlers bouncing the disc around on the edge. That's going to be an up throw as Anna had the disc in her hands but just fell to the ground. Becky on a nice little quick fast break. And they're going to need to string some more of that movement along. Yeager looking really patient with the disc, taking their time moving it around the seaweed zone. Becky Widmeyer in the center of the field again. She's going to look upfield, but takes the dump. Nice gain with Anna Solberg through the cup. She's going to dish it to Becky Widmeyer, who looks around the sideline to Allison Church. Allison Church has a few options. She's going to throw a few fakes and dish it right back to Becky Widmeyer. Seaweed still in this zone look, even so close to the end zone, about 10 yards outside. A dump deep from Hannah Betcher, she takes off deep. Hannah Samuelson picks up for Seaweed and throws it very late. 
Nice. Becky Widmeyer will bring that in for the D to give Jägermeister back the disc. Hopefully they can gain some yards quick before this UNCW defense gets set up. Looks like there may be a little bit of miscommunication on what the defensive look right now is for UNCW. Allison Church picks up and Hux looking for Carmen Deep, but it's gonna be outside the end zone and a little bit fast. Get it back. Christian Reed to pick up for Wilmington and get this potential break opportunity. Christian Reed inbounds it for Wilmington. She hits Eliza Rich on an upline cut and she looks downfield and hits Hannah Samuelson on an under. Who hits Hannah Betcher on an under. UNCW just working these open side unders. An upline throw from Hannah Betcher hits Christian Reed who puts on the skates and just barely gets it. A nice grab from Christian oh, Reed right there. 9-3, Wilmington is up. Hannah Samuelson set to pull for seaweed and on this line for Wilmington is Kelly Mayners. Eliza Rich, Catherine O'Leary, Lydia Brenneman, Hannah Betcher, and Kristen Reed. Twenty seconds to pull. Hannah Samuelson with the blady pull that rolls down the field quite a bit. Emma Bartlett picks up and centers to Becky Widmeyer. We've got Katie Trebrilovich, Becky Widmeyer, and Emma Bartlett in the handler set. We've got Allison Church and Carmen Tormey in the middle section of the field looking to create some space. And we've got Anna Solberg and Abby Campbell working the deep space. Seaweed right back into the zone that has been make, making Yega move the disc quite a bit. Nice throw up the middle to Carmen Tormey, who can continue to Allison Church. And Becky gestures for Allison to continue with the swing. It looks like it's going to go the opposite way and swing to the sideline with Katie Kabrilovich, who centers back to Becky Widmeyer. A little bit of movement into space, and Allison just reels that one in past the defender. Becky hits Katie Kabrilovich on the sideline. They're gaining yards slowly but surely. UNCW is content to make Yega throw it over and over again and let them turn it over on a mistake. Another D from Hannah Betcher. Hannah Samuelson uncorks a large flick to a streaking Hannah Betcher who catches it with ease. That is 10-3. Seaweed is up on Yega. Yeah. 
Another break for Wilmington. <laughs> this one is starting to get away from Jaeger. I believe that is a timeout call on the field from Jaeger. Jaeger Monster and Seaweed usually play each other several times throughout the season, but I don't think that they've faced each other this season yet. This will be their first head-to-head -head competition. They've been in the same tournaments this year, but haven't seen each other outside of this matchup. I'm sure they'll end up playing probably at sectionals and or regionals a couple yeah. times. They'll probably meet each other in bracket play at um, sectionals. I don't know how many um, teams we have in the section now. We're kind of growing. Got a really nice 69 degrees out here, no wind, calm. A beautiful 69 degrees. Doesn't get any better than that. Perfect night for ultimate. 69 degrees, just perfect. Nice. Got a beautiful sunset setting up here to the right. <laughs> yeah, you're coming out of the timeout. Hopefully, uh, recuperated a little bit and uh, organized themselves, and they look to get a quick hold right here out on O. Both of these teams are just outside the bubble for earning a bid to nationals. Unlikely that any result here would really help either team's case, but they would have an opportunity to um, gain some points this weekend at I-85. I believe Jaeger Monster is going to I-85. I'm not sure if Seaweed has any other tournaments on the schedule. Yep, I think Seaweed actually uh, finished up their, their regular season last week at, um, at Southerns in Georgia. Um, so I believe this is the last, this is it for Seaweed. This is the last regular season game. Hannah Samuelson with the Blady Pool. That just barely stays in. Anna Solberg stops the roll before she runs into the deep space. Seaweed right back out here with the zone that has been working so well all game. Nice bid by Allison Church to reel in a frisbee that was just a little too far. It's going to save the possession for Yega. Katie with a cheeky throw over a defender's head to hit Becky Woodmeyer just a little bit up the sideline. They're going to look to swing to Carmen Tormey. Seaweed really has Jaeger push back here with the zone. Oh, nice. Gain some yards. Carmen unhooks a big backhand. And that's going to be a read and a land sky for Jaeger Monster. 
Kristen Reed with the rundown and almost D. That is 10-4, UNC Wilmington up. We're going to get this Jägermas to D-line back out here, hopefully do some disruption of this UNCW offense. Danielle Sawyer with her hand up, waiting for UNCW to be ready to receive the pull. See, we're really taking their time talking over this O point. Must be very crucial. <laughs> Hannah Samuelson picks up the pull and centers to Annie Garrix. Annie Garrix hit Hannah, hits Hannah Betcher on a quick under. And right back to Annie, who looks upfield and hits Betcher on the upline. She hits Kristen Reed on a tight under, who's looking downfield. And hits Hannah Betcher for the swing, who hits it to Eliza Rich. Annie Garricks with the flick hook up to Hannah Samuelson. Oh, a fat bid from Hannah Samuelson, just out of her reach. Yega Monster going to look to close this gap a little bit. Danielle's walking to pick up the disc. <laughs> Seaweed right back into that beloved zone. Yega Monster's pinned in there. In zone and got deed. Hannah Betcher with the quick hands and gets her fourth or fifth dump D of the day. Hannah Samuelson picks up the disc right on the goal line and throws a hammer. And Han Hannah Betcher will get the bookends and score for Seaweed. That is 11 4. Seaweed really came to play tonight on the last ACS game. Last game of the season, they probably decided to leave it all on the line. We've got Alice Woodman crossing over onto the O-line for this point. And also Lisa Keller. So on this O-line, we'll have Allison Church, Becky Widmeyer, Lisa Keller, Kaja Brilovich, Carmen Tormey, Anna Solberg, and Alice Widman. Hannah Samuelson with the pull. Landed a half field, but rolled quite away. Becky threads the needle again through the cup, hitting Lisa Keller up the field for about a 20 yard gain. And again, 
Anna Solberg on the sideline, just inside. And that'll be a Carmen Tormey throw and a Becky Widmeyer goal. Quick and easy O there for Jaeger once they uh, got through the holes in the seaweed zone. Emma Bartlett set to pull for this Jaeger Monster D line. Wipes her hand on the ground. Warms up her wrist. I've been watching YouTube of last year's championships all over. Oh, look at that. So, boom, right there on your phone. Jeez. Well, this is sweet, man. Emma Bartlett with her hand up, waiting for UNCW to be ready. Got a hand, and the pull's going up. It's a nice pull for Emma Bartlett. Hannah Samuelson catches a pull and centers to Kristen Reed. Hannah Betcher has the isolation cut, gets it on the under. She sends it deep. It's floating. And it's caught by Lydia Brenneman deep. A dimey hook from Hannah Betcher gets the quick O hold for Seaweed. That'll bring us to UNCW 12, NC State 5. Well, there's a game in, there's a game at Middle Creek on Sundays that is, is that the group that played with us? Seaweed with the potential to uh, get the break for the win here. It's funny because I remember one of my best plays ever was the Brent. I caught one and I unloaded it down the sideline. And it was a backhand, you know, that we call that outside in or inside out. Backhand. And you were on the sideline. I was like, what are you doing? And I was like, Brent. It was, it was like the greatest puck play. The only person on our team that could have made it happen, though, was Brent because he was fast enough. Yeah, maybe, maybe you think it happened. Maybe in your mind. I, I gotta tell you, I don't. But you know, I'm sure. It was either that or the hand block I got on Brian Wingfield. <laughs> I but I, that was down. You're, you're remembering down all the right stuff. Well, sure. of course I remember that stuff. I mean, I, that I don't remember. Hannah Samuelson set to pull for seaweed. Or, you know, passes from here to there. A blady pull lands right out of bounds at about half field. Yeah. All right, let me get back there. All right. Good to see you, man. Good going to give Yega a short field to work with. <laughs> Becky Widmeyer set to pick up. She's going to walk it to the middle. Disc is tapped in and immediately looks for Carmen with a nice grab. Carmen hits Melissa Gronsk, and that's going to be a quick score for NC State Yega Monster. This will be a game point possession for UNCW if they can score here as this game is being played to 13.
on O for Seaweed, we have Kelly Mayners, Meredith Wiedenheft, Lydia Brenneman, Kelly McKillicuddy, Hannah Betcher, Kristen Reed, and Hannah Samuelson. Twenty seconds for a poll. Pulls up from Danielle Sawyer. Christian Reed fields the pull for seaweed and hits Hannah Betcher as a centering pass. She looks downfield and hits Kelly Mayners on an under. Kelly Mayners with the dump pass to Kristen Reed, who hits Hannah Betcher on the swing. Back to Kristen Reed, who hits Hannah Betcher on a quick handler switch. Hannah Betcher to Kristen Reed, who makes a nice tight grab. Who hits Hannah Samuelson on the under. Hannah Samuelson with a nice D from Alice Woodman. Tight hammer. That came in right about at head height for Alice. And Alice stands about six feet tall. <laughs> Seaweed setting up into that zone. Danielle looks to swing it off to the sideline to Emma Bartlett. She puts one up. But Hannah, Hannah Samuelson, Samuelson with a large layout D. Here we go, Charity, right here. Nice layout by Hannah Samuelson to get that one back after the Aaron Hammer throw. <laughs> Hannah Betcher lets it fly. A flick hug, Lydia Brennan looking to end the game, and it bobbles right into her hands, and Seaweed wins it. 13-6 is your final. <laughs> Thank you for joining the stream in the final ACS game of the year. I'm Kevin Huerta. I'm Alex Robbins. Thank you for joining us.